Good day and welcome back to Portland Meadows Racing Live Track Handicapper Matt Jukic joining you once again looking at the Wednesday, November 7th card. Just a month left in the meet here at Portland Meadows looking at that card. Looking for our two pick fours, of course, being Wednesday. Get those two pick fours, 14% takeout, of course, on those wagers. Nine race card, races one through four, six through nine. Let's have a look at the first race here. We're going to go with the one and the five fly away. This is for horses who haven't hit the board at the meet. Flyaway is going to find a much, much easier spot after taking on the non-two of the year condition last out. And the five tricky Terra Diddle did go down to three to five last out. I'm expecting a better effort here. Should be able to get a good spot right in behind the outside horse. And who gives a who to hooks up with and seven. Hopefully they tire each other out. We don't have to worry about them too much in the lane. Off into the second race. Go Gamer Go is probably the one they're going to have to beat six to five on the morning line. Big change. They're going to take the blinkers off. This guy's been beat plenty of times now as the betting choice just needs to relax throughout some part of this race he tends to tear off and be his own worst enemy he likes to find ways to get beat unfortunately hopefully he can get a stalking trip just kind of an easier middle part of this race if he wants to get this whole six furlongs be tough to beat getting in with state breads but we're gonna throw in a pretty much a bomb in here uh, trying to shake things up if that one does falter. It'll be the 5 Owen Almighty, big price of 12 to 1 on the morning line. The guy really hadn't had a whole lot go right for him since breaking that maiden. But if you look through his morning work tab, that last one, 5 furlongs, 59 flat. Very, very fast here at Portland. So we'll see if he's done some growing up since he's been away in July. Maybe his head is now on the racing game, Owen Almighty. Unlikely winner, but if he does, he'll be a big, big price. And we're going to want to throw him in. Hopefully that last work did tip off some talent into the third race i think they're gonna have a tough time beating the six all-star stand cutting back to just five furlongs today gonna slash off that extra furlong where he faltered through last time plenty of speed hopefully he can take him the whole way the four classic chummery got a, off a little slow in his latest they're gonna look back to that debut a uh, bit of an even paced run made a made a bit of a move late and get up there third hoping for a similar one if All-Star Stan does falter in the 8, Camille Chi, Magic, first time out of the Nick Loeb barn. Of course, Nick Loeb been very good for the first time. We're sitting with two of his last five. Debbie Hunan and Tice Works have been okay. Won't have to be a monster to score here. So we're going to have one to cover that one as well. Into the fourth race, uh, four and seven, two horses, four. Me and here, mow them down. Of course, hasn't hit the board going this far. But you have to look too back. It was DQ'd from a win at the same level and distance. So there is some talent there. Should be rolling late. But if there is a horse to get first run on him from the middle of the pack, will be the seven, no balls, two strikes. Tough post in his last two, had the ten hole, two back, had the rail in his latest, gets the seven today, should be able in for a good spot. Also cutting back from a mile on a 16th try. We'll see if that does shape, sharpen him up. So it's the one and five, but the one and the five with the four, six, and eight with the four and the seven, 24 bucks in that first pick four. But we do get two, of course, on Wednesdays. We're going to race six, skipping race five. I think the one they're going to have to beat in this one is going to be the three Fire Dancers MG, but one of the tougher races in this later sequence. So we're going to cover a few horses in here as well. The four, one cool guy coming off a nice maiden breaking score last out. Maybe it's given them some confidence. Uh, lots of speed in the early part of this race. Might find some company with the five Cryptic River. We're also going to cover a pair of tough beats in his last two. Gone down by a half length both times. And the seven, see that harbor. Another one uh, throughout this program who's going to get a much better post. The 11 hole last out. Actually ran on pretty well to finish fourth, beaten just over four lengths. Into the seventh race, I love the price we're going to get. Hopefully, anyways, if the morning line is indicative of what this guy does go off at on the six Deputy All Star. This guy's got a perfect stock and pounce running style. There's plenty of speed in here for him to try and chase down. I think the level's perfect for him. You can see that nice run up effort, two back for 3,200. I think 2,000 hits this guy perfectly. Of course, a nine time winner here at Portland Meadows. Five times at the distance. This guy is a gamer. Does get Luis Torres, Filamon Alvarado, going to send this one out. We'll see if he can score at nice odds in there. Into the eighth race, we're going to go too deep again. Disco D, Cape Truth. Pretty hard to separate those two. Uh, running styles are similar. Cape Truth does like to sit a little farther back. Cape Truth, of course, a winner in the local debut, going five and a half furlongs. Thought this one wanted a bit more ground. Was able to show that he was able to overcome it and uh, went over that wet track on October 27th. We'll see if Cape Truth can make it two in a row. Disco D's been right there in his last two as well, with two wins, or two seconds and a win in those three tries here at Portland. In the last, I think you're going to have to cover the three inside horses, Gia Comina, Angel Unaware, up your plan. Maybe a bit of an edge to Gia Comina, professional four-time winner here at Portland. 
Miguel knows where the winner circle is. Of course, right back at the same level after running to Lafayette Star, who is a very, very tough horse in her own right. Went out of here for that wet track. The last one, Angel Unaware. Nice win last out. And, of course, up your plan was second to Lafayette Star. Did beat Giacomina. Did go down to Giacomina last out. They have a bit of rivalry going on here. We'll see if up your plan can keep the tables turned. So it's a 3, 4, 5, and 7 with the 6, with the 4, and the 5, with the 1, 2, 3 in the late pick 4. Again, 24 bucks gets you in. 14% takeout. Let's get lucky.